Yeah. We all got to make up our minds. That's right. I thank God for this. Hey. It's a surprise for me. <laughs> but um, we all have to make up our minds. That's right. And at this time, there's so many different things that could cause you not to even think about making up your mind. But um, I have found in my life, you know, many times when I didn't want to face a thing, mm -hmm. confrontation, didn't want to face the situation. Mm -hmm. And um, I would run away from it. And I ran for a number of years. You can be in the Lord as far as turning your life over, as far as receiving salvation under you know, repentance, when we repent of our sins initially, you know, the official thing that we do when we repent of our sins. And uh, we ask the Lord to be the Lord of our lives. And, um, but the journey that is before us is much more than that one time that we stand there and we say, God, we turn our lives over to you. Forgive us of our sins. Uh, we receive you in our lives. It doesn't stop right there. That's right. And you think that you have made up your mind Come on. at that point. You feel that you have turned everything over to God. That um, what you think you have decided, mm -hmm. that um, you want the Lord to be the Lord of your life. Come on. But then you find as the years go by, that there are situations that make you see that you have not actually made up your mind completely. Because a lot of things that are still in us, because God says we grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And a lot of times we don't understand that. We think that God does the makeover mm -hmm. all at once. Come on. But no. Come on, yes. come on. It's a process. Yes, it right. is. So, in order to tie this in with putting on makeup, <laughs> come on. Sometimes we put on makeup to cover up. Come on. And a lot of times in our salvation lives, instead of us facing up to the fact that we have not made up our mind, uh -huh. we put on makeup. There you go. And we walk around. What a mask on. Come on. And, but the problem is not being addressed. And then you look up and 10 years has passed. Uh -oh. But God said that um, it is hard to kick against the priest. That's right. Amen. So, you think that God is going to allow you to just drift along and he's going to change his mind. <laughs> because you're going to endure him <laughs> instead of him. You, you know. You Come on. You, you, you will wait God out. Come on. Mm -hmm. You can't wait God out. Amen. 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 He will wait on you if you're 90 years old there you go. to Come get on. into his presence. That's right. Let's go. So don't try to cover up with a little eyeshadow, there you a little go. lipstick, a little foundation. Come on. Walking around with a mask on your face when you know you need help. Yes. Come on. That's and you right. know that there are things on the inside of you that need to come out. That's right. That's right. Don't be afraid to confront. There you I go. was afraid to confront. I was afraid to talk to people. I was afraid to stand up to people and look them in their eyes. If they walked in my office, I couldn't even do my work. I had a spirit of fear. I know. And I would not address it. So you know what? That spirit of fear held me back for come many on. years. But one day, I said, hold up. God is my God, and he's the Lord of my life. What am I afraid of? These are just mere people. They're not gods. That's God right. is my God. If that's I'm going right. to fear someone, fear the Lord. Yeah, that's right. So I said, Lord, I said, you're going to have to help me. And I began a journey of seeking God. And do you know one day that fear got me? Yes. And I thank God for that. You all know I don't have but a few minutes. Don't walk around with a mask on. Don't walk around 
making your faith something, but espousing a faith that is not real. Come on. Get before the Lord. Right. Like Pastor was saying this morning, you want that supernatural experience with God that causes you to know that you know that you know that you know that you know. That you know. Come on. And that no matter what anybody say to you, no matter what you go through in life, and no matter how the suffering is, that you know, that you know, that you know. Get that experience with God. That's right. Lay before him. Talk to him just like you're talking to anybody else. That's but right. lay before the Lord and let him bring to surface all of the filth. Come on. All of the thoughts. Come on. All of the sin that will so easily beset us. Lay yourself to the side. Take your makeup off and put it on the altar. And say, God, this is a process. That's right. And I want you to make me over again. That's right. I want the makeup to be the makeup of the Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. To cover me. That's right. To cover me from the top of my head yeah, to the sole of my feet. That I may see differently. Yeah, that I may hear differently. Yeah, that I may speak differently. Yes. That I may walk differently. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. That I walk up before you and that I be honest yes, that's right. in my heart. Yes. Be honest with that's yourself. Right. Yes. Talk to yourself. That's right. I used to walk through the house and my kids would see me talking to my catch me talking to myself. But I would be weighing things out. Okay, I said this, I did that. And they knew I wasn't crazy. They know, they knew that I would talk to myself. And sometimes, don't you know you have to talk to yourself? Come on. Yes, you do. Yes. And then when you get through talking to yourself, then you talk to God. Come on. And say, God, I want to lay this stuff before you. And I want you to heal me. Yes, thank you, heal me. And then, also, when God begins to make you up, make you over again with his makeup, <laughs> righteousness, purity, <clears throat> honesty, uh -huh. love, oh, maturity. Oh, when he begins to make you over with the, the gifts of the spirit, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. then you become beautiful. Because he says that he beautifies the meat with salvation. So we want to walk in the beauty of salvation. We want the makeup to be the makeup of the characteristics of Jesus Christ. We want to be able to see out of Jesus' eyes. And when you see out of Jesus' eyes, then you don't see yourself. But you see the kingdom. And you see your purpose. And you see the people. And you, 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 you in your heart, your heart goes out to the people of God. And when you see somebody suffering, and when you see somebody in sin, instead of you talking about them, oh, look at how they look, or oh, look at what they have on. Instead, you say, God, have mercy. Yes, that's right. And bring them to you, God. Yes. Give me the opportunity to witness to them. Yes. Give me the opportunity to love on them. Thank you, Jesus. Give me the opportunity to show them a better way. Yes. Don't judge people. Yes, that's right. Don't judge. Thank you, Jesus. But let God Holy. use you. Yes. But let God Holy. use you. Yes, Amen. That's me.